Hi, and welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips, guys. In this video, I'm going to be updating my GoPro Hero 3 Plus camera to the latest firmware using the GoPro app for Android or iOS. In this case, it is an Android phone, but it's basically the same for either way. Um, yeah, it's just there's really not much to say. Hopefully, this video is helpful if you're in a bind or something, but let's just get started. So basically, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're on the latest version of the app. Make sure you've updated it. Uh, I don't know exactly what version this is, but you want to be on whatever the latest version is because that will have the update for your camera. The next thing you want to do is make sure your camera is turned on as well as the Wi-Fi and that your uh, phone is connected to it so that the two can communicate. You guys know how that works. Next thing you want to do is make sure you can connect and control. And you can't see it, but if I take off this lens cap, you can tell that they're connected and there's me hi and so yeah that's all you really need to see of the man behind the camera anyways uh, let's get to the next step after you've made sure that your phone and your GoPro are connected you want to go up here to the install button and that will take you to a screen that tells you basically what the latest update is this is update 2.0 if you're watching this you might be looking to install another update that has come out in the future but this one I think came out, I don't know, I think a month ago maybe, but I only got it recently for some reason. So yeah, it will tell you what the changes are. Not really much to see. You know, you can't even scroll down. It's basically just one page. They couldn't fit it exactly onto one page. So once you're ready to install it and you have a good amount of battery in both of your devices, you can click install. And it has their firmware license. Who reads that? And it's gonna transfer the files to the camera. Now you can see there's about four seconds left and it says downloading update right here. And now it has switched to validating. It says please do not turn off the camera and stuff. You know, it's a very critical moment, I guess. They don't want you to lose connection and the camera stuck in who knows where, Tahiti. Uh, so it's validating, unpacking the files, I guess. So now the camera is turned off and it actually says it's unpacking the files and it looks like it's starting the installation now. It says your camera will power off and on automatically when the update is complete your camera's LCD will uh, return to the normal feature based function basically and you can't if you can't reconnect with the camera's Wi-Fi network just beeped a couple times you have to go to gopro.com to get some support. So it's reconnecting. Okay, so now it just said the update was complete and it started up and there's a blue light. It looks like it's all good to go. The Wi-Fi is back on. Let's see if it's gonna connect to the smartphone, however, and it looks like it has. Update is complete. Now that was about four minutes, five minutes, which is, honestly, it's pretty cool that they uh, install this feature that lets us update your camera from your smartphone instead of having to plug it into your uh, mobile into your laptop I mean not your mobile device this is your mobile device but really you can update it without any wires which is pretty cool very modern very up to date I'd like to see that in more devices in the future you know more mobile connected devices being able to connect and update from your smartphone or even just over the Wi-Fi itself so that's about it guys. If you have any questions about uh, how to update it, honestly, I haven't, I don't know that much. It seems pretty simple, but go to the GoPro support page. That's probably going to be where you can get most of your help. Um, check out my channel for a bunch of GoPro videos and yeah, that's about it guys. Subscribe, comment, like, and as always have a nice day.